Good day, grade 12 learners, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking a little bit about the task definition. So now that we've gone through our document, we know our phases, we're busy with phase one, task one. We've looked at our topic. Some of you have may, maybe chosen topic one, two or three, or you've selected your own topic with the approval of your teacher. So now that we've got all that behind us, we need to now look at moving forward. And the first thing we need to do is look at the task definition. Now, they say to us here that the task definition provides a broad description of the task or problem that you need to solve. So you're looking at probably about somewhere between two and 300 words, probably more or less 300 words, I would say, around there. But again, check with your teacher on that in which you are giving us a broad description of what you're going to be doing. So what is your topic? Why have you chosen this? What is your topic about? How are you going to go about getting information um, and data around this? And then who is this end result for? Who is your target audience? Also, what software are you going to be using? Are you going to be using... Um, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access. Are you going to be creating a website? Are you going to be creating a PowerPoint presentation at the end? Maybe you are even going to create a Google form, right, in order to get more info. But those are the things we want in the task definition so that we, or anyone reading it, understands exactly what they're going to get in the subsequent pages. So you are defining what you are doing, how you are going to do it, why you are doing it, what software you are using, and eventually who it is for as well. So I want to quickly show you a few examples of pets from the past and their task definitions. This one did a, um, a whole thing on planning a summertime music festival. So here you can see this is the whole task definition saying that they plan to um, put together a summertime music festival taking place in December. There are things they need to obviously bear in mind, like accommodation for guests, costing location, the location of the festival, the artists, etc. And to achieve a successful festival, I will need to research and compare many factors. I use many sources such as surveys, the internet and AI to collect accurate and useful info. And I'll present it in a report and an HTML website. So that's one example of the task definition. Let's look at another one. This one, I believe, was using looking at AI in the creative space. Does it have an impact? And there, AI has become a prominent feature in many aspects of our lives. Art and animation play big roles in my life, and I'd like to go into animation after school. My study choices have been questioned by many as they say AI will one day do everything for us and take away our jobs. I find it important to me, see here's the why, to understand AI and its future impact on the creative community. There's the topic. To understand this, I will research about AI. I will do this by sending out a questionnaire, finding information on the internet. The information will be sorted and laid out in various programs as well. So. There's another example of a task definition. And then one more. And this one is on the topic of planning a metric holiday for my friends. And there we go down to the description of the task. And they mentioned there, I'd love to plan a metric holiday for a group of my friends, making sure it's cost effective and enjoyable. Right? So it's telling me what this is. Um... You're looking at the different factors that they'll be considering. She's saying that they'll compare destinations, activities. To find out all this info, I will conduct a survey among my friends to determine their preferences with regards to food, activities, climate, etc. I'll use websites to find information and add it to an Excel spreadsheet. I'll use a PowerPoint presentation to show the data I've gathered. My friends will be the target audience for this task as well as other metric learners that would also like to plan such a holiday. So, Great 12s, there are three examples of task definitions um, that have been used in the past. And what has it done? Exactly what this is saying. 
providing a broad description of the task or problem that you must solve. Um, and I do also want to just jump into the rubric so that you can also see. Let's go into phase one. And there we go. So there you can see, sorry, this is 2024s, but it works off the same. I just want to show you what, what happens here. There are five marks up for grabs for a task definition that clearly describes and states everything, mostly describes, rather vague. It's entirely up to you what you do in that task definition. So let me go all the way out and get the 2025 one. It should be exactly the same. And we can see in phase one, here we go, still five marks up for grabs. Now you can see if you do everything that's been asked of you and you clearly describe and state everything that's expected, boom, the five marks are yours. Okay, those five marks are yours. So learners, I hope that helps you to clearly understand what is expected of you in the task definition, looking at a few examples, and now you can begin your own since you've already chosen your topic. All the best, and I'll see you in the next video when we talk about the key question.